This is Hard Rock Live, presented by Pontiac Sunfire. Tonight, a live performance by the phenomenal Jewel. that artists make themselves into kind of these huge icons that you can't... There's a huge gap between the ordinary person and the star, you know what I mean? And that's horrified me. It's always good when there's a good human being behind all the, the success, you know? Take me down the stairs, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, Jewel. This with my friend Steve Poltz. Um, he's on the road with me right now in the band called The Rugburns. And we wrote this song on a surfing trip down in Mexico. I didn't even have a record deal when I wrote it. I never thought anybody would hear it. It's really bizarre to hear you applaud it. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> my teeth, I put the cat back on, I know you hate it, I leave the light on, I pick a book up, and turn the shades down, and take a deep breath.
Thank you. Night with its shattered teeth attempt to speak my pen's present But courage left via the sink And I'm sorry I snuck up on you from behind Sorry not all my love letters did rhyme And I'm sorry that Jesus died for my sins And I swear to God it won't be happening again And I'm sorry if it was my swear That tempted you to sway quite understand that I'm sorry if you had to explain it like this sorry I was the point you were destined to miss and I'm sorry I spoke to you irreverently down in the hollow by the old olive tree and I'm sorry if my heartbreaking ruined your day oh yeah sometimes it'd be that way Tiptoed upstairs and I'm sorry I never got to find you like this Sleeping like a baby and swaddled in bliss And I'm sorry St. Petersburg is a miserable town And I'm sorry if I am bearing you down And I'm sorry if I ever sang your name in vain Oh, yeah, oh sometimes it'd be that way with her neon lamp kissed Neptune they put her face on a stamp and I'm sorry I used it to mail a letter to you sorry I'm glue and the rest bounces off of you I'm sorry not even this jet's metal wings could get across these simple things and I'm sorry if I ever say the air with its silver tongue night has many hands but you have just one and i'm sorry i walked in on you unexpectedly sorry i didn't serve you chamomile tea and i'm sorry i didn't always have a match that could start a fire big enough for your heart to catch and i'm sorry if my swerve tethered you to It's perhaps rock's most infamous love story. Sex Pistols' Sid Vicious met groupie Nancy Spungen, and through a heroin-induced fog, they found love. Sid was accused of stabbing Nancy to death at the Chelsea Hotel in New York, and he died of an overdose before his case went to trial. In happier days, Sid wrote this list of reasons of why he loved her. One, beautiful. Two, sexy. Three, beautiful figure. Four, great sense of humor. Five, makes extremely interesting conversation. Six, witty. Seven, has beautiful eyes. Eight, has fab taste in clothes. Ten, even has sexy feet. Eleven, is extremely smart. Twelve, a great hustler. To see number nine uncensored, you'll have to visit the Hard Rock in London.
VH1's golf strategy. Your stance is impeded. Your options? Play it as it lays. Get relief. Or hurry home to catch VH1's Fairway to Heaven. Chris O'Donnell, Matthew McConaughey, Joe Pesci. This is the rockin'est golf tournament I ever played in. Glenn Fry, John Lovett, oh, I'm sick. Alice Cooper, John Daly, Celine Dion, Meat Loaf, and more. Yes! Golf meets rock and roll. Saturday, November 22nd at noon 11 Central, only on VH1. Ah! Sponsored by Ocean Spray. Sunfire. Here's Jewel. I took my friend out, Steve Poltz. Steve and I have written uh, quite a few songs together. And let's put this in open tuning. Everybody say hi, Steve. Hi. Oh, you're a friendly lot. I didn't limp around like John. some herbal tea cause it's healthier they say well healthier ain't half as fun I'll take a cold beer in a day I used to have dysfunctional fun in the cancerous sun with my coat of pen and hunt eating greasy greasy hot dogs on a buttered up bun the song after coming back from Mexico. I was traveling through there when I was about 17. Came through San Diego and California for the first time in my life. I'm from Alaska. And uh, I thought it was interesting to see how many of us in the world are taught that nobody can know you better than somebody else. That you have to go to God to be forgiven and you have to go to therapists to be understood and you have to go to lovers or friends or wives or husbands to be loved. And we spend very little time focusing on ourselves and forgiving ourselves and being nice to ourselves. And uh, that's originally why I wrote the song.
People living their lives for you on TV. They say they're better than you, and uh, you agree. She says, Hold my clothes from behind those gold brick walls. Says, Come in, boy. It's nothing for free. Another burger, another hot dog, surprise. You wishing the well, hope your health don't go to hell. Well, another doctor's bit of lawyer's bit, another cute, cheap thrill. You know you love him. Put them in your will, but who will save your souls when it comes to the baby? Who you, who you will save your souls to those lies that you told, boy? And who will save your souls if you won't save your own? La -da 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 -de -de -da -da We try to hustle them, try to bust them, try to cuss them. When cops want someone to bust down on Orleans Avenue. Uh, another day, another dollar, another war, another towel went up where the homeless had their homes. So we pray to as many different gods as there are flowers. But we call religion our friend. Uh, we're so worried about saving our souls. Afraid that God will take us toll that we forget to begin. But When it comes to the baby, you will save your souls. To those lies that you tell, boy. And who will save your souls if you won't save your own? La -da 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 -da. Some are walking, some are talking, some are stalking their kill, got social security, but that don't pay your bills. There's addictions to feed, and there are mouths to pay. He's who you're bugging with the devil, but you don't care for today. Say, man, you love him, take the money and run. Say, Spence was well, sweetheart, but it was one of those things. Those things, those dreams, you gotta come to get out on the streets, girls, and bust your butts. Who will say, hey, No one in rock could camp it up quite like Queen's Freddie Mercury, but with a little wry wit, the late singer wore his heart on his sleeve when he wrote to his lovers. My dearest David, here's wishing you a lovely birthday. This is our second one together and hope there are many, many more. I've often wondered what a tart and a pudding look like when they're old and gray. Love you always. Kisses, Merkels. The postcard is part of the Hard Rock Collection. If you love rock and roll, we got one word for you. Golf. Rucker, Dion, Brooks, Lewis, Loaf, Fry, Pesci, O'Donnell, Lovett, McConaughey, and the Showgirls. From Vegas, baby. It's VH1's Fairway to Heaven. Plus, run for your life! <laughs> Bill Murray in Caddyshack, VH1's Fairway to Heaven weekend. Hosted by the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Starts Saturday, November 22nd at noon 11 Central. If you ever take your Pontiac Sunfire driving through some famous expressionist painting, it'll fit right in. Because it looks like a work of art, right? And it drives like a real scream. Pontiac Sunfire, driving excitement for around 13.5. And hey, check out Hard Rock Live, presented by Pontiac Sunfire, TV's only golf the way it should be. Loud. Saturday, November 22nd. Pontiac Sunfire, and now more Jewel. This is a new 
song too. Babies on beach blankets headed for Mars. Cute guys with crew cuts in the day glow surf. There's a pretty lady in a bikini Her eyes are clear But her teeth look like smashed out window panes She's trying to mend her dreams with sushi and seaweed It's not on my album. It's called A Thousand Miles Away. I was living in this green Datsun station wagon, and I was reading Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Have you ever read that? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and so I was reading it, you know, my, my brakes, and my car kept falling apart, and I was like, it must be something spiritually wrong with me. <laughs> Basically, I didn't have enough money to fix my car, and so it had to be a spiritual problem. <laughs> like, spirit we can work on. So I was like, maybe my brakes are out because I'm having problems slowing down in my life. So I was like, okay, I started like walking everywhere slow. I'm like, it's okay, man. It didn't help. My starter wasn't working. I'm like, maybe I'm having problems getting going in my life. 
So I'm like being really like affirmative and blah, 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 blah. It didn't help, so I finally sold it. I got a call on my answering machine once, and this woman goes, Hey, uh, Jewel, this is Melissa. Melissa Etheridge. It was on my message machine. I played it like 10 times. I was like, oh my God, it's Melissa Etheridge. <laughs> I was wondering if uh, you might uh, sing one of your songs with me, and uh, you know, I'll sing harmony on it. I'm like, oh my God, Melissa Etheridge. I, sing one of my songs. <laughs> I never even heard the end of the message to this day. I was always like, play again. I did this song with her. It's, it. Okay, here we go. In case you fail to notice, in 
Legendary jazz saxophonist Charlie Parker was married three times, but the great love of his short life was to his common-law wife, Chan Richardson, a native New Yorker who shared his devotion to bebop. On Valentine's Day, 1954, Bird sent her this telegram. While searching mentally for words in my vocabulary, I chose the meaning of the birds. I'm proud it's you I married. I'm also glad to let you know in words that gently rhyme. I'm very much in love with you, so be my valentine. The telegram is part of the Hard Rock Collection. If you ever end up in some Ben-Hur movie in your new 97 Pontiac Sunfire GT, with its powerful twin cam engine, well, you'll be glad you have it. Presented by Pontiac Sunfire, here's Jewel. You wanna come on up, Dad? My dad Ots. That's my baby girl, Jewel. My mom and my dad had the dinner shows in hotels in Alaska. They were the biggest darn thing in Alaska. <laughs> and uh, I started singing with them when I was about age six. And my dad uh, yodeled for a long time. He's from Switzerland, but he didn't actually learn to yodel until he came to America off of uh, cowboy albums, I think. Ooh, interesting. And then uh, when my parents got divorced, my dad and I uh, made, I guess, most of our living bar singing um, from about age eight on. And I did backup vocals and more and more lead slowly. I never played guitar um, until way after the fact. So I was always kind of his sidekick standing there. And, it's really an honor to have him up here now and have him sing with me. <laughs> Taught me everything I know about showmanship and working an audience. He's a very professional musician. Do you want to play the guitar? I should give it to you. Yeah. 
A little yodeling song for my man Yo, and I know that old Yo don't know that I wrote this yodeling song late one night. He'd heard me yodeling down at Hobo Jim's, and we were hanging out at the Putter Inn. He was begging me to yodel, and oh, Yo, he was half tight. He held out his hand. I said, "What's your name?" He said, "Yo." So I asked him again. He said, "Yo" again. So I figured it must be his name. Well, I was having some peculiar thoughts, but you can't say much with a name like Ots. So I settled back, trying to figure out Yo-Yo's game. Now Yo was sailing three sheets of the wind with a frozen stare and an ear-to-ear -ear grin. He kept begging me to yodel, saying, "Get up there and yodel with the band." It was my good friend Rod with a hired gun, so I stepped up to have a little bit of fun with the lead and the bass and the drummer and the rhythm man. Now Yo, he staggered right up to the stage. He had his angelic smile on his face. That sucker looked like he floated out to heaven and he died. Well, I'd never had a fan quite like Yo before. He stood there mesmerized on the floor. He started clapping and stomping when he heard my yodeling cry. And I said, Yo, this yodeling song's for you. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, remember that time spent yodeling is time well spent. I've never had me a fan club before, but Yo, don't you know one thing's for sure? If I do, I'll make you my fan club president. And I said, Yo, 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 when I got through, I said, there you go, yo. He was still smiling, but his eyes were closed, and I thought I was going to get away from him. Then he opened them wide and said, I want to hear some more. Well, I was wearing out my welcome, and I was running out of time, but I decided that I'd yodel up another line, because I thought it was the only way that I could get you off the floor. Well, then I got to thinking. I realized, suddenly I realized, why old yo like yodeling? Because every time I yodeled, I was saying yo's name. Well, then I got to think it probably wouldn't work too well. Matter of fact, it downright sound like hell if you ever try to yodel using anybody else's name. Try Inga. Inga lady, Inga low, Inga lady, Inga lady. See what I mean? It just doesn't work. So in this whole wide world, no matter where I go, one thing I've learned, I finally know, I'll never yodel again if there's anybody in the audience named Yo. And I said, Yo, this yodeling song's for you. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, remember the time spent yodeling is time well spent. I've never had me a fan club before, but Yo, don't you know one thing's for sure? If I do, I'll make you my fan club president. And I said, yo, 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 work with my mom. She's uh, my co-manager along with Inga Weinstein. She keeps me spiritual and centered. Um, do you want to sing something? Sing? Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. It glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, old Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, and they shouted out with glee, yippee. 
Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You'll go down in history. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And you were very shiny. But I wasn't the only doid. And if you ever saw him, you would even say, it glows. All of the other, but I know they don't used to laugh and call him names. And they never let for Rudolph joining any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, old Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer, but I know they don't, and they shouted out with. But it needed it and root off the red nosed reindeer. You go down in history. You go down in history. Boom. <laughs> Hard Rock Live will return with more of Jewel. VH1's Hard Rock Live, presented by Pontiac Sunfire, TV's only weekly live music series. Next week, Tony, Tony, Tony. Uh, I think our hands manifest thought. You know what I mean? Like the world becomes what we believe. Um, nothing really exists until we tell our hands to do it. And so I started deciding, okay, I'm going to be very careful what I'm thinking. Um, because my life sucked. <laughs> and uh, I was like, okay, what do I want to do? And where is change possible? And where is hope possible? And I started staying very mercilessly focused on that. And it works. I just want to tell you guys it works. Um, you need to be careful what you think. And uh, I, was, I was scared a lot. And I spent a lot of time being very focused on how scared I was. And uh, so I wrote myself a little lullaby because I think that even in our loneliest moments, none of us are really ever alone. And this is the lullaby I'd sing myself. Have a good night. I'm gonna unplug my guitar. Thanks a lot.
Did we get pictures of you with me last night? I feel like we're in the prom. <laughs> There's some lady with a Polaroid taking these great Polaroids. I was like, where's Steve? Uh, the guy from STP came up to me, Scott, you know, we're pretty good friends. And, and my dad's like, and who's that? I said, he's in a band called Stone Temple Pilots. He goes, Stone Temple Pilots? Whoa, what a name.